Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa, and this is Battlefleet Gothic Armada. And holy hell, do I have something amazing for you guys. This is an assassination mission. And I am the defender, which means my flagship is what the enemy is going to try and kill. So I've only gone and put one of my beautiful, beautiful battle cruisers in because half my fleet was destroyed, I believe, <laughs> from a previous game I had. But that's fine. It doesn't matter. In we go with the uh, Dominator class uh, battle cruiser as my flagship. So the enemy's going to have to kill that. I've also got another uh, battle cruiser, which I think is the Mars class one. Yeah, which is more of a carrier. Well, it, it, it's more of a carrier-based battle cruiser thing of magical wonderness and glory and, and all of that good stuff. You can see my opponent, though. He's like, well, I haven't got much left. I had a space station defend, then breakthrough attack. I believe this to be lies. That is the glorious flagship. Look at that. She is Adeptus Astartes aligned, which means that when she lightning strikes, she teleports, well, assault terminators over to the enemy ship. Beautiful. <laughs> so we've got to protect the Admiral, which is, well, I guess me. If that is not a magnificent ship, then I don't know what is. If that doesn't inspire glory and victory, then I just don't know what whatever would. Well, I suppose a battleship would, you know, a, a bigger ship. <laughs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is an insane game. This is a really, really, really good game. It's 10 minutes long. In fact, it's longer than 10 minutes, I think. That is very long in, at this point value. I mean, we're at 440 points. We've only got three ships, so how the hell can it last so long? This is because this descends into a game of tactical cat and mouse. It is beautiful. However, this is the first time I'm watching this back, so I, I reckon there's going to be loads of mistakes here, and maybe we can find them as we go through the video. Because at the start of the game... Well, I know what I don't do enough of is use the Tactical Cogitator. I do win the majority of my games as well in Battlefleet Gothic. Like, I... It isn't because I'm spamming the Nova Cannon or anything like that and getting lucky. Because, to be honest, it is powerful, the Nova Cannon, but it's not something which just decimates entire enemy fleets before they even get to you. I mean, you can see I'm firing it off there. I've got two of them. I just want to hit them because I know... Bloody hell, he's got a lot of ships. I've got to do something about this before they get to me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I tend to win quite a lot, so I, I must be fairly good at the game. Um, or at least that's what I like to think anyway. What I'm thinking... Well, so let's do it. Let's run through what I'm doing right now. What was going through my mind at the time. What I'm thinking is, okay, we want to get into the nebula. I also want to fire my torpedoes at them. And we want to dodge their torpedoes. And I have. I've dodged their torpedoes. I've used some tactical maneuvers just to get the ship to turn around. I want to teleport over my plasma bombs. Do as much damage as I can because I've got three plasma bombs in this setup. Which again is for just putting out damage before they even get to me. Because I suspect there's escort ships in that there. And that was an escort ship. We managed to kill one. Now escort ships are not really that potent. They're kind of irritating. If you ignore them for too long, they can cause you issues. But those escort ships there. No, we can make a mess of those. The fact remains though. This guy still has a decent fleet there. I mean, he's still got three cruisers there. I think he's got three light cruisers and a battle cruiser. Well, I've got two battle cruisers and a light cruiser. So, um, it's fairly even. Maybe. You can see his battle cruiser is moving off in the distance. I don't actually know that's a battle cruiser just yet. I'm like, oh. So, let's talk about mistakes here. This is going, this is going into an all-out brawl. I should have used the tactical cogitator. I should have hit space and paused the game right now. Or at least slowed it down. Because my light cruiser there is taking a shitload of damage. See, I've done it now. But it's taking too much damage. It's taking the brunt of his entire fleet there. That's not good. That is really not good. I'm turning it around. I want to try and get some lightning assaults off my flagship there. Which is just on the front. Because it just doesn't care. Is now teleporting to the other side. Or doing a mini warp jump. So it can then fire its other volley of macro cannons on the other side. This is where I detect that ship. And I'm like, oh god. So I think he's played mind games on me quite well. I thought that was his entire fleet. And I thought this undetected ship was just a an escort or something like that. Turns out it was actually a battle cruiser. So really, he's played this perfect. He's made me overcommit. And then he's hit me with crushing broadsides. He's destroyed one of my light... Well, he's destroyed my light cruiser. And now I've got... a. a Understood. A, a, a battle cruiser which is almost dead. And I've and I'm, and I'm trying to emergency repair this thing and get it the hell out of the way. My flagship though is going to work on his ships there and it, and it's doing damage. So it's not all bad. We're still we, I, While it is in his favor, I am getting a lot of damage off here. 
One thing I should do is issue commands to my flagship, and I've not done it, I don't think. Oh, no, I used light and assault, possibly. Might have been better if I was rapidly reloading or something like that. So here's the problem. How many ships has he got left there? And he's just taken out one of my battle cruisers. Holy shit. This is bad news for me. But then, but then the flagship comes in. It fires its Nova Cannon. It gives broadsides. It starts lightning assault and it's killing these ships. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm doing work. We, we are doing work, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking... I mean, it's a shame that they kept failing, but that... It failed and then it, and then it success on the lightning assault. Which just probably did enough damage to that ship for us to finish it off with the macro cannon. And now there's an escort. But we know... There is still a battle cruiser, and that battle cruiser is firing lance weaponry at us. What that means is he has better range than me. You can see him in the distance, and he knows this. And he's firing his lances into me. Slowly but surely, he will kill me. I have to do something about this. Also, pro tip: if a cruiser is right next to a, uh, if a, if, a, if a, it's not a cruiser, if a battle cruiser is right next to a escort and it fires a broadside point blank, it will annihilate it. So this is where I've got to really start doing something good. That wasn't that good. I took a load of torpedoes there. But I, I do have the um, the crit order on. And I want to give them big, strong broadsides. But we're... I, it's the same class of ship. Changing course. You know, we're, we're going to... We're going to equally trade. But what do I have that Understood. he doesn't have? Well, I've got the Nova Cannon. I've got the Plasma Bomb. Look at the damage I'm sustaining, though. I know I've got to get the hell out of here. Now, this is where the video gets really, really good, and this game gets really good. Because, as you probably guys have noticed, if you look... Well, if you guys have probably noticed, I can't get words out. I'm so excited. If you look at the timeline on the YouTube player, only half the video is gone. You know what that means? This is a cat and mouse game for over five minutes with these two ships. Or around about five minutes, right? Something like that. Okay, so what am I thinking here? I've got to get into the nebula. I don't want him to fire at me. I've got to hit him with Terminator Strikes, which has worked. I want to keep distance because I want to fire the Nova Cannon at him. This, If I keep jumping away, I can spin round, hit him with a Nova Cannon and broadside him. The Nova Cannon will remove his shields. And then I hit him with a massive broadside and it's going to do damage to him. I mean, this might look suicidal, but I'm pretty confident with this ship. That was a gamble. A gamble that didn't work there. I was hoping the Nova Cannon would scatter back. It did not. But we still managed to get a decent broadside off and turn away from him. The Lance Weapons... I am... I, I am bothered about the Lance Weaponry. I don't want it hitting me. Because it's going to reduce my Void Shields and then he's going to hit me with Macro Cannons. The Macro Cannons are, are the, the most potent thing. You see when the Lances hit me, it's not too bad. Now I'm thinking, this is not looking too good. And I'm contemplating turning back around and using um, Brace for Impact so we can take more damage. But at this point, I'm like, no. What I'm going to do is go silent because I need to buy time for the Void Shields to come back up. This is where Battlefleet Gothic Armada is absolutely brilliant. This game could have been over in minutes if I just kept my shit where it was. No, I want to try and win. I need to come back. There's no reason why I can't come back. So my enemy has, has done the correct thing here. He's increased speed to full. Because he wants to get within detection range of me to get rid of this so he can keep firing me. And he's about to detect me. So he's picked me up. Now I've got an 85 second cooldown on my abilities now, which is, is not good. My void shields are regenerating though. His void shields are at full and his hull is at full. So again, I'm going to hit him with a plasma bomb. I'm going to give him a broadside. Hopefully that destroys his shields. Then I can board him with Terminators and maybe destroy a deck. Maybe destroy some of his weapons. That's the plan. Didn't do no damage though. Void shields were still up. So again, I wasted that bomb. You only really want to use that when the void shields are down. So now I'm like, okay, this is getting desperate. I need to put distance between me and this guy. I, I know he's just issued the full speed ahead command, so he can't do that right now. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to turn around and shoot him with a Nova Cannon. Now, he's actually turned away there, and I'm thinking, all right, this this is actually better for me. He's he's moved away. He's, he's He turned in a way to kind of make it longer for him to actually get in range of me. So this now gives me a chance. I can repair the ship. I've, I've bought enough time to repair the ship. I'm turning around. The ship is repairing. We're going to face this guy, and we're going to see what we can do. I thought I know the cannon at this point, but I guess I didn't. 
I can't terminate a strike in because his void shields are up. I don't want to go into that crazy chaos minefield blowing. thing. That would be bad. So this is where it's like, well, what what do we do? What what can we do? We're getting slowly killed by this. We can't kill him if we just keep hitting him with a plasma bomb or whatever. It's not going to work. I'm going to micro warp jump. And this is when I rapidly turn. I'm sure I turn now and hit him. Yeah, I don't think I've got the command available to do a quick turn. That's why I didn't quick turn. I think I quickly hovered over it and didn't realize. But I am turning. He knows what's coming. I'm going to hit him with a Nova Cannon. This means, though, he's going to be within range. I need a solid hit. Then we need to terminate to board him. So his shields have been destroyed. We're moving in to give him a broadside. He is turning to give us a broadside. I'm increasing speed to get the distance on him. I've tried to hit him with a Terminator Strike. They're on. They're doing damage. He's on fire. I've now issued a command so I don't take as much damage when we're in close range. His shields are down. I'm going to hit him with a plasma bomb. Can you see how my plan is unfolding? We're giving him broadsides. This is, this is beautiful. Maybe I should have actually used one of the offensive orders instead of the defensive because he didn't hit me that hard. So now it's quite even, isn't it? But I've played all my cards now. And he, well, he, I, I, he's, I'm in a better, well, he's in a better shape than me. The question is, what the hell do I do? How can I get out of this? It's starting to look quite bad for me. My void shields are down. They haven't it's over half until they regenerate. His void shields are back up. I can't attack him while I'm moving away. So I just have to keep moving away and hope that I can hide in the nebula. I'm taking massive damage though. And I have no way of dealing with this. I can't turn around and Nova cannon him. If I try and do that, it'll be within range and he'll kill me. So this bought me a little bit of time in the nebula. It's given me the void shields back. So I can at least take some more damage before I start taking hull damage or a lot of hull damage. And I can't be Underway. boarded, which is good. And obviously, the the pick two says very good game because it, it, this is a this is the best game I've had. Even when I've played higher point value games, this has been beautiful. So I turn around now and I think, right, I've got to go for it. He's going to be within range of me. He's just issued the order for crit damage, but extra damage on his weapons. This is bad for me. I'm like shit. My void shields are going to collapse. What am I going to do? What what the hell am I going to do? I'm going to ram him. I'm going to absolutely ram him. Fully up, bra! And then we go in. We go in. <laughs> we go in, but his void shields are up. But we don't care. Oos! Yeah! Look at that. And then we're going to give him a massive broadside. <laughs> and then we're going to board him with Terminators. And then we're going to kill him. And it's going to be beautiful. But we failed. We failed. His shields are back. We hit him. Go, go, Terminators, go. Terminators, go in. That was his Terminators on me. Yeah, look at the damage. Look at this. Look how close this is. Next volley wins. He got the next volley. That is insane. That was an an ins. I I I challenge you not to be blown away by that game. That is ridiculous. The best game of this I have ever played, and one of the best gaming moments I've had of this year so far. That was magical, and I lost. But it came down to who could fire the next volley. Mental. Ladies and gentlemen. I am Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoy the channel and the video, why not give this a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.